Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Light of the World Ministries. Uh, this is not a Bible study. This is more of a, a warning. Uh, I used to work for Frito-Lay back in the 90s. They were purchased by the Rocky Feller family uh, back then. And um, they owned... PepsiCo and Frito-Lay, you know, Pepsi-Cola. And I just found out that uh, Lay's Potato Chips puts a type of, uh, it's a chemotherapy drug on their potato chips. And when you look up this drug's, uh, their ins the, what they call the insert, uh, it lists all the symptoms that you can get from uh, what would you say the reactions and symptoms from taking this drug all the problems and stuff that's what it, the inserts are uh, anytime you buy you get a drug from a pharmacy it's got the insert and you read it and it says if you have headaches or joint or muscle pain or this you know stomach cramps or this and blah 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 uh, that's what it is contraindications well this thing has a list like half a mile long of things with problems with it this chemotherapy drug so they're putting a chemotherapy drug on their potato chips which is bad news you know this is the family that uh donated the property for the united nations you know that antichrist group yeah also i heard from uh somebody i converse with that she met she talked to three people that had kidney failure problems and all three of them were drinking pep dr pepper um i'm not sure if dr pepper is a pepsi product or not i'm going to put uh, links in the comment section it'll be pinned so you can look up the stories uh, for the the potato chip thing which will probably be scrubbed from the internet I mean they want to kill you people you know I, I quit drinking soda uh, back probably yeah in the 70s I quit drinking soda and uh, I I don't I don't eat much snack food I mean, let's face it, uh, GMO potatoes with, uh, you know, chemotherapy drugs. Wonderful. Yeah. Sounds yummy, doesn't it? But um, Dr. Pepper, I need to find out if, who owns them. All right. According to Wikipedia, W-I-C-K-E-D, Wikipedia, uh, they're bottled by PepsiCo and Coca-Cola. So they're bottled by. They don't actually own them, but they're bottled by. So, uh, I don't know. So they're, I don't know. I don't know who the owner is exactly, but Coca-Cola and Pepsi are involved uh, is there a connection? I don't know. Um, I hear people that drink Mountain Dew have, some have had health problems. I'm not saying that Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew cause health problems. I'm not saying that at all. But, um, obviously it's not a healthy thing to drink. So, I don't know, people. What can I tell you? The um, all I know is Dr. Russell Blaylock, B L A Y L O C K, I believe, uh, he wrote a book called The Taste That Kills, uh, where he said that diet soda was causing multiple sclerosis type symptoms in women, and he was like. He was some kind of, I think he was like a neurologist or something. You know, a doctor that specialized in nerves. 
and uh, I think his degree was in chemistry before he became a doctor. So he started investigating uh, why all these women were getting MS-type symptoms and not so much men. Well, women are concerned about their weight, and they would drink diet soda, like 10 times more than men. And he started getting an explosion of these things, and he wasn't sure what was causing it, so he created a questionnaire. You know, what do you eat? What do you drink? Blah, blah, blah. And the common denominating factor was the diet soda. Well, he found out that the um, original head of the FDA that had denied the use of uh, aspartame or aspartamine or however you pronounce it, uh, he, they denied it and said, well, this stuff isn't safe to drink. Well, Reagan, our wonderful, lovely president that everybody thinks is so great, fired the guy and got somebody else that approved it. You know, serpent seed people, they want to kill us. I mean, they're not just Satanists, okay? If you don't know what happened in Genesis 6, write me. I'll send you my 10-hour uh, study that I didn't really do. I, I added to it, but uh, the head of the um, Colorado Christian College or Denver Christian College, uh, I forget his name now, but he's founded the Denver Christian College. He's the one that did the, uh, the angels that sinned, what really happened in Genesis 6. I mean, you know... If you don't know who the sons of God are in Genesis 6, all you got to do is go to Job 38, and it tells you they shouted for joy at the creation of the earth, the foundation of the earth. Well, Adam didn't come till six days after that, so he wasn't around to shout. They have to be angels. They have to be angels. Uh, when you look at this, the, um, the account of creation in Genesis, the angels are not mentioned anywhere. Why? Because they existed prior to the earth. They had to have. It's just logic, people. You know, I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, the flood didn't, the flood killed all the giants at the time. But the Bible says that also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men. I mean, what do you think Goliath was? A Philistine. He was a giant. You know, there's giants are mentioned in every recorded history all over the world. Japan, China, Thailand, Africa, Europe, America even, even the American Indians. You know, uh, Paul Bunyan, Jack the Giant, uh, and the Beanstalk. Um, what do you think ogres were? And uh, orcs and um, the Titans. Uh, you know, what can I tell you? But not all the Canaanites were giants. Some of them were, but not all of them. These people want to kill us. They hate us. It's, I guess it's in their DNA, their fallen angel DNA. Um, what can I tell you? But all these big food companies, all this stuff is genetically modified. You know, when I buy garden seeds, I try to get the heirloom, non-GMO stuff. I don't think I always succeed, but I, I make it a concerted effort. Uh, you know, processed foods is poison. It's poison. They want us dead and sick. Uh, and I guess it wasn't working fast enough, so they got to come up with this five... Uh, I'm sorry, the, the G whiz five stuff. Because the, the chemtrails was just wasn't doing the job fast enough for him, you know? The Lord's hand is protection is still on his remnant. That's the remnant small people. It's small. You know, if you'd have told me I was if you would have told me in high school and said, Bob, one day you're gonna be um teaching Bible stuff, I'd have cussed you out. I mean, really, I would have. I'd have cursed you out and I'd have, you know, totally. Churches really turned me off against everything in the Bible and 
you know, the likes of Billy Graham. Even as an unsaved kid, I knew all the TV preachers were frauds. I just can't figure out why these church people can't see it. I, I guess the Lord just blinds them. I don't know. So, all right, people, check the uh, description. Um, I'll put links, and you can read about the uh, the poison that they're putting in our food. It's just unbelievable, you know. Uh, what a wicked world we live in. Well, what do you expect? You know, they took prayer out of the school, dishonoring Christ. Uh, they kill the unborn. They celebrate uh, marriages with sodomites. I mean, you know, they, they tolerate a, a church of Satan. And that's one of the mild churches, people. They got the Order of the Golden Dawn. Those people are serious. Bad news. I mean, they are hardcore. Uh, where's a King Josiah when we need one? We needed the Lord to send us a King Josiah, and we got a Donald Trump. Wonderful. I'm being very sarcastic, by the way. Uh, I hope Melania is saved. I was actually... It was uplifting to see her in Melbourne, Florida, uh, right after the inauguration, reading the Lord's Prayer on television. I, I actually enjoyed that. But uh, I don't know if that was a farce or if it really means something to her. I don't know. I don't make those decisions. The Lord will. I'd like to see Donald get saved, but uh, I doubt it. Satan makes sure that only certain bloodlines get in. And oh, by the way, I just recently found out, if the source is correct, that Tom Hanks is a Rocky Feller family member. Huh, it would not surprise me. Why does that not surprise me in the least? So, all right, you know, I'll get back to doing Bible studies, uh, God willing. And, um, uh, but you know what? The sheep need to find out that uh, the, uh, the well over there is poisoned. Don't use that well. Use the other one. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in his name. Amen.